gladiators. In preparation for graduation day, here's our cap and gown 101. So we have my model over here, and nice, is wearing her gown, and then the cap. As far as the cap goes, the back is the part that has the elastic. The front has a little, almost like a pointed section. That's supposed to be about an inch above the eyebrow. But according to tradition, and it says it on the packaging of your cap and gown, it's supposed to go from right to left. Dr. Augies will say, gladiators, congratulations, and he'll tell you when to turn the tassel. Until then, you won't do it. But <clears throat> with the front, you know that it has to be to the right. So you want to, may I, will you hold this please? You want to make sure that you hold it taut, find the center, and you're going to place the string around this button on top. Let's tilt it so they can see it. And you have to kind of like wiggle it in there to make sure that it stays, that it's nice and firm and fit. So when it's on, the 2018 will be out because you placed it that way. Go ahead and put it on. There you go. About an inch above the eyebrows. And the hat is supposed to be level, which of course can be a challenge. But let's take this off for now. So the cap, we're good. Now, as far as the gown goes, there is an optional collar. Uh, some of you said it looks like a bib. This, most students do not wear, but the purpose would be to go over almost, I mean, it would tuck under, right? It would tuck underneath and it would, it would hang over like a collar of a, of a shirt. But some students won't wear it and they won't wear it because of the different regalia that they will be donning that day. So we're going to leave that one out. Now, when it comes to closing your gown, you have your zipper. But you also have a fastener up here. You want to make sure that you have that fastened and the zipper with that metal piece tucked under for neatness. Now, at the back of your gown, there's a button. And the purpose of this button is to hold your metal in place. Now, your metal, and all of this needs to be ironed or steamed. Your metal, if you look closely, there is a side that has the stitching and another one that does not. You wanna make sure that you have that side against your body so that the clean side is outward. There is also an added little piece of metal. May I see? Thank you. There's a little piece of metal that came attached to the back of this, kind of like a keychain ring. You would slide it off because this is for use later. You don't want it hanging at the back of your metal on graduation day. So here, you want to make sure this part would be against, right, like the seam against the body, the, the nice part outside, and that's going to go over the head. And this is supposed to be attached between the button and the thread that closes it. So a nice little trick, make sure it's centered the way that we did with the thread of the tassel and you're going to place it underneath the button, between the button and the string, and then fasten it so that it sits nicely on the chest, as opposed to hanging down by the belly button. So there you go, make sure it's centered, lines up with the line, the metal facing outward. Now, at our school, we are limited on the stoles that we're allowed to wear for the first time we are going to have nap stoles which is extremely exciting and then students who are in the national honor society can wear their pendant stoles so this pendant stole would go next same idea centered this seam should sit on the shoulder and then turn around for a second of course, the, the tag we need to cut, but it should be hanging down on the back. This is why we said we don't need that collar, 
This should also be steamed or ironed, centered. And then next, for those who are NAF track certified, the NAF stool. Same idea, the seams will help with centering. Let's move your hair. Okay, turn again. down and when you get dressed a little idea like a nice idea would be to have mom or dad maybe with a safety pin from the back hook them together so it's not sliding around the same thing goes for you know these mm -hmm. so they hang there evenly and the last one would be your cord for our summa cum laude magna cum laude and cum laude students And the knot would be the equivalent to the seam at the center of the back of the neck. And then it hangs down over your stole. So that's good. And then we have our, go ahead, the hat, or the cap rather. Is that level?